our knowledge is uh, important to believe in oneself. Everyone wants, needs to believe in something. And you need to believe in yourself and know who you are, knowing that you're a part of Israel, understanding who Israel is, and the Bible message is for us, is to us. And uh, this is a source of strength, and this should be used. And Britain helps provide this knowledge, helps provide the way, or give us a uh, strengthening to this uh, source. Also, knowing the truth in itself is worthwhile. It helps us understand reality, it helps us fulfill ourselves. It adds a dimension to who we are. Knowing who our ancestors were, what may I yet become, is worth it. And understanding history is also worth it. Knowing what has happened in the past and its biblical significance is also what Bridam teaches and is what worth knowing. And it helps us understand the present and uh, brings us to understanding who we are and also to fulfilling our national obligations. The Lost Ten Tribes had an obligation to do justice and judgment, to bring a blessing to mankind and to reform the world. And we will give, give sources and go into this a little bit uh, more in detail in a few minutes. And uh, it's still pertinent. The Ten Tribes had an obligation to do justice and judgment, to bring a, a blessing to mankind and to reform the world. The, the Ten Tribes especially also need to help Judah and the State of Israel according to the Bible, according to biblically related sources. This is what being chosen means. The blessings are given to them. We're given to the ten tribes as part of a promise. A promise, a blessing that had been promised to their forefathers, but it was also intended as tools to enable them to do what they had to do. And so, uh, so do each and every one of us. We have what we have. we are given us what we have. We have our families. We have our, our place in society. We have whatever we do. We have what we earn, we have what we receive. What the Almighty gives us is given to us for, to do well with it as well as we can. So the same applies to nations and the same applies to peoples. And we have a few more points, but now for a minute, we'll, now we'll take a break and we'll go back through the people, participants in, uh, in this meeting. And we'll hear, maybe someone has, has comments to make, we'll hear them and then continue course of the, the evening okay Jean. yeah is it your is it your position that that the, the ten tribes have to return to Israel under the wing of Judah and all become Jews uh, no uh, good we thank you uh, no we, we believe that in, in end times in the end times when everything is uh, when the Messiah son of Joseph initiates the return of the ten tribes and there's a reunion with Joseph, with Judah. In the end times, uh, the land of Great Israel from the Nile to the Euphrates will be uh, rehabilitated uh, by man and yeah. by divine influence. And uh, it will be divided up amongst the, the 12 tribes, each tribe receiving its tribal portion and each tribe living in that area. In addition to that, the area is already occupied by the right. so areas of Western Europe, according to sources will be considered part of the land of Israel. So not all of the ten tribes will physically return. A portion of them will. A portion of them will remain where they are. Where there will be some type of a spiritual happening, spiritual event that will transform the areas they now live in into part of the land of Israel. So we have sources on that. Also, we see that the lost ten tribes should or will undergo the process, they, they should intensify who they are by remaining loyal to who they are, by becoming, uh, by remaining who they are, and know that in the end times, uh, the, the message is not to they turn into being Jews, they remain who they are, but as a group, yes. some uh, they work towards developing, reforming the, the peoples they live amongst, but I also have individuals who want to convert, believe they could convert, and want to become Jewish. They should realize by conversion they become Jewish. And temporarily at least they uh, leave off belonging to where they belong to. And uh, this may be a solution for some people. Some people have been in a drive for this. If that is the case, they should go ahead. But we do not encourage it. We do not advocate it. We do not preach it. There are other people who do. And we think they are mistaken in this. 
But uh, it's none of our business. We we go ahead and do our own thing. Uh, and this is what this is what we teach, and we uh, have, have, uh, people support us on this on this matter, and others who are uh, critical of us, or is that even resentful of it, as if we are depriving them of something by holding this position. That is not true. This is the way we see the reality, and take it or leave it. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree completely. I think one of the hardest things for the the reunification of Israel is the fact that we have to come back together as equals. And that's very difficult because the only one that was alive then that's alive now is the father himself. And so there's nobody that knows exactly how that was. And we have to really, really, it's like dancing with a porcupine. That's all I have to say. Okay, very good. Uh, well, I mean, John, would you like to say something? Johanna, yeah. our friend Johanna. Yes, yes you're, you're, um, I'm feeling that God is bringing us together as a family. And he's teaching us to accept each one exactly where they are because we're all in a different place, you know, but, but, the, but the key Torah principle is love, you know, to okay. love your neighbor as yourself. You okay, know? that's right. Very good. Thank and, you. And, we'll come back again. Thank you. <laughs> David, would you like to say something? But everyone try and keep it short. Say something, but keep it short. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to add uh, to things that a couple of other people have mentioned that uh, there are different tribal characteristics. Uh, Damon, and we Damon. Need all of them. Okay. Yes. Sorry, go ahead. What were you saying? Sorry, um, go ahead, Damon. There are different tribal characteristics, and we need all of those. Um, it's whether you're Jewish or whether you're Christian, it says that the, the 10 tribes must return before the Messianic agent can begin. In Romans 11, it mentions the reunification with the 10 tribes. Whether you're Jewish or Christian, that must happen before. And they, these different tribes have different characteristics. Um, one of those characteristics, and I'm not gonna go into this in, in great detail now, is that the Northern 10 tribes, when they saw a problem with the ruling Davidic king, they rebelled. When they saw uh, foolishness in King Rehoboam, they rebelled. And the Jews, on the other hand, remained with the Davidic king because they were loyal. So there are different characteristics. That's a good example right there. I won't go into any more detail, but we need, we all need to come together because even in that situation, both sides were wrong. Okay, well, just stick with the Bible. Anyway, that's uh, whatever we do. One way or the other, like it or not, we all have to stick with the Bible. Sylvia, would you like to say something? Uh, Sylvia, you okay? You, you hear me? I, I can't hear you. Okay. You want to say something right now? Okay. I can, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Sylvia, would you want to say something right or now? I guess later. Okay. Very good. Uh, <laughs> to to you. Uh, David, you want to say something? <laughs> Can't hear you. L later, I think. Later. Okay. Very good. Nelson. I, I, I'm just going to keep my comments till later. Okay, very good. Lori, later or... <laughs> okay, very nice. Just your being here is also a blessing. Okay, very nice. Mark, would you like to say something? Yeah, is my audio... Yes, can you hear there me? you go. Yeah. We can hear you. Great talk so far. Uh, in reading many of your books, uh, there are two... Uh, Manasseh related questions um, that I'd like to dig into more that I really have never read in your books. Uh, namely, uh, Manasseh has a unique characteristic there that there is an Eastern and a Western yeah. block. Right. An Eastern and a Western territory of Manasseh. That's uh, unique. Uh, also unique to Manasseh is its uh, being within Ephraim at times and then emerging in its own right at times uh maybe you'd want to comment on those uh, maybe we can research them further okay uh I, maybe if you could send me something by an email and i'll look into it i haven't got nothing on uh, really at the moment uh so take us away from what we're doing at the moment so you can send me an email and i'll give you a later 
And uh, Bli Nader is an expression here. Like, uh, like there's a Bli Nader. Nader in Hebrew means uh, a minor oath. Oath without promising. In other words, if the person forgets to do what he said he would do, don't hold it against him. Okay? Bli means uh, without. Bli, Nader. Without uh, promising. But uh, we're, uh, good intention is there. Okay? <laughs> okay, so now we'll go on. We'll go on with the talk. And uh, we'll come back to everyone.